Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Animalia part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at the next criteria which was segmentation. So what is segmentation? Now it is seen that in some animals the body is divided into segments. That means the body is divided into parts or sections. Now in some animals the body is divided into segments. What do we mean by segments? Segments are like small compartments. So the entire body is divided into small small compartments and all are identical to each other. And each segment not only performs some common function but they also has some specialized function. For example maybe some segment may help in locomotion, some segment may help in um, feeding that is they can act as a mouth, some segment can act for, as sense organs. So they have got some specialized functions as well. But this segmentation is again not present in all animals. It is present only in certain animals. So let us look at an example arthropods. So here you see this insect it falls under the arthropod phyla and here the segments help them in locomotion. They also help them in feeding. They also act as sensory perceptions. So do you see here where do you see the segments? Here do you see the body is divided into segments. It is divided into different parts right. So that is known as segmentation. So this segmentation of the body is known as metamerization. So this phenomenon is given a different name called metamerization. So where do we see this kind of segmentation? It is seen in annelids and arthropods. So if you see annelids like earthworms, nearies, leech, they all fall under the category of annelids. So here if you see their body is divided into small segments. So here in annelids it is ring like structures. See, small segments, right? And each segment will have a specific function. So in annelids, mostly these segments help in locomotion. On the other hand, we also see this kind of segmentation in arthropods, that is the insects. And they are also, they, they have got different uh, functions actually. In some it helps in feeding, in some it helps and uh, it acts as a sense organ. So it again depends. So in insects, these segments are grouped together to form different parts of the body like the head, the abdomen and the thorax. So here if you see, if you look at this insect, this portion is the head, this portion is the abdomen and this portion is the thorax. So what are these? These are nothing but the segmentation. So few segments group together to form the thorax. So here you can see these are few segments 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are some segments grouped together forming thorax. Some segments grouped together forming abdomen. So that is how the arrangement is in case of the insects. So this is known as segmentation. So segmentation was also an aspect based on which the animals were categorized into different groups. So that such that all animals who have segmentation they fall under the same category and all animals without segmentation should be in one category. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.